Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why your reputation is not important. Got an email here from a viewer. He says, Hey, Coach, he says, I've got a sort of an inferiority complex and social anxiety, as new age experts like to call it. Now, I'm 25 with little or no friends, financial issues, I'm overweight, and I have a career struggle, which is not what, what bothers me as I'm working on that. Though since elementary school, up until sophomore year in college, I've been extremely terrified of interacting with people, making friends, being in a relationship. I was basically scared of people, and I was seen as a weird psychopath of some kind of people and used to pick on me, humiliate me, bully me because of my weird, non-socially calibrated behavior among people. He says, I felt shame ever since. He says, when I became 23 years old, I decided some major changes needed. So I learned the art of pickup, which for the most part is just a marketing fad, joining a boxing gym for one and a half years and took a seven month salsa class. He says, I boosted my confidence, yet whenever I see something that reminds me of the past, such as an intimidating looking guy or a super confident person or a super hot woman, I start to get that same panic attack I had when I was bullied in school. He says, I, I got extremely depressed, and then after doing that, all of the above more than a year as my panic and trauma still hit me hard. Later discovered that the hard way that psychiatry is merely trash talk and zombi zombification via medication. Yeah, I've got a lot of, a lot of clients that I coach that have psychologists, psych psychiatrists that they go to, they're prescribed medication, they're in therapy, they're in counseling, that kind of stuff. And the ones that are on it say the same thing. They're like, I don't like being on it because it makes them feel like a zombie. And by eating healthy, exercising, taking care of themselves, focusing on their goals, filling their lives up, doing things that they really want to do. Like I would encourage you, get a, go to the gym, get yourself a personal trainer, start eating healthy, start, start juicing vegetables, get together with your, your doctors and your healthcare professionals, read the, the book that Dr. Robert O. Young wrote called The PH Miracle and start applying that stuff in there in earnest because you'll feel better and you'll look better and you'll become healthier and the healthier you are and the better you feel, the happier you're going you're gonna to be and the easier it will be to strike up conversations with people in general. He said, two weeks ago, a dickhead friend of mine, a buffed, rugby-playing, loud-mouthed asshole I know from college, gave me a call to tell me that he's inviting me to his wedding in January. He says, I answered the phone. I told him I agreed to go to his wedding, but slowly the feeling of inferiority crawled into me as I knew I will meet the people that view me as inferior inferior and cowardly. Well, if he thought you were an inferior and a coward, he wouldn't fucking, I mean, think about it, a rugby player. Why would he want a coward coming to his wedding? He obviously invited you because he thinks highly enough of you that he wants you there. And so what this tells me is you got limiting beliefs running around in your mind. They're all a bunch of BS and basically telling you that you're a steaming pile of dog dung. And yet you you say you have no friends, but you got somebody a buddy from college who thinks highly enough of you to invite you to his wedding. Weddings are a great place to go and have fun because everybody's drinking, everybody's having a good time, and it's a great place to hook up and get laid. He says, I never managed to get into a relationship with a woman because of this shame, and I really managed to stand up for myself and draw a line, in particular with people because of my shame, which also limited my social circle. Well, I mean, you have to get to a place in your life where you realize... I mean, think about this, dude. 500 years from now, nobody's going to give a fuck about your shame. Nobody's going to care that you were overweight or that you had social anxiety or any of these problems. Or it's like nobody's going to care. It doesn't matter. It's like everyone that you care about and everything that you care about in this world at some point is going to dissolve and going to be replaced by something new. That's just the nature of life. It's like one of the things that Wayne Dyer says I think is so true. He says, the only thing you can really do with your life is give it away because you can't take anything with you. And the only thing you really can do is find a way to enjoy your life. Find a way to be grateful for the things that you do have in your life that are the way you want. And by focus on focusing on what you have to be grateful for and focusing on doing things that are emotionally compelling to you, you're going to change your state. You're going to change what you focus on. You get what you focus on in life. And so if you're focused on 
how things aren't working for you and things are never going to go well for you, then guess what? You're, you're basically telling your brain, hey, give me all the reasons why my life sucks so I can continue to feel miserable about myself. But if you change the way you look at things like right now, because you can change your state in an instant by simply changing what you focus on in life and you start to focus on and ask yourself because the quality of your life is going to be in direct proportion to the quality of the questions that you consistently ask yourself and i can tell you some of the questions that you're asking yourself really fucking suck and they're disempowering and so what i'm talking about is in, instead of focusing on, on all the reasons why going to your buddy's wedding is going to suck say well what if i had a brand new attitude that from this day forward i'm going to have a good attitude towards things and I'm going to say, well, you know what? Maybe I'm going to meet a great girl and hook up. Or maybe I'm going to get a phone number. Or maybe I'm going to meet a girl and I'm going to kiss her. Or maybe I'm going to meet a girl and I'm just going to have a great conversation. And she's going to set me up with her sister or a hot friend or whatever. Just have the attitude that I'm going to go there and I'm going to have a good time. And I'm not going to have any attachments to it. Because here's the deal. When you worry about your reputation, because the ego is the part of us that says, I am what I do. I am what I have. I am my reputation, I am my past, I am my credit report, I'm all of my past failures, I'm, all, I'm, my, I'm my business, I'm my successes, and all of that stuff doesn't matter. When you place your happiness upon someone or something or a set of circumstances in your life being a certain way, you set yourself up to suffer because when your reality doesn't match the way you want it to be or the way you think it should be, and you get upset about it, we suffer. We, we as human beings suffer when we don't accept reality. When the girl that we wanted doesn't love us, or the guy that we wanted us to be, to be our best friend doesn't feel the same way or doesn't care about us in the same way, we suffer. Because what happens is you become attached to that person feeling that way or reacting a certain way or saying something that you thought they should have said. It's like your, your rugby buddy. Instead of just going, you know what, I got... I got friends that think highly enough of me to invite me to their wedding. But instead, what are you doing? You're saying this guy is a loudmouth asshole. That's how you talk about somebody that's inviting you to your wedding? He thinks it highly enough of you to invite you to his wedding? And, and, all, and what are you focused on? Oh, what an asshole. What a jerk this guy is. It's like, come on, dude. When you change the way, look, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at literally will change. And so if, if you, like I said, if you want to change your life right now, I mean, it literally can happen in an instant. You can simply decide right now that I've had enough of this shit. I'm tired of this shitty fucking negative attitude that I've always had in my life. And from this point forward in my life, I'm going to focus on and ask myself great questions like, what's good about this? When bad things happen to me, I'm going to say to myself, what can I use this for? How can I learn from this? How can this make me a stronger person? How can this make me a better person? How can this help me grow my confidence? When you ask questions like that of every situation that happens in your life, you will become an ever-present optimist. I had a girl I've known for a long time, for like 20, 20 years basically. I remember we were talking last year and one of the things she said to me, she said, Corey, I miss your ever-present optimism because we don't obviously live in the same city anymore we live several hours apart from one another but we've always stayed in touch and stayed friends over these 20 years and she goes through a lot of tough shit in her life and so i'm always picking her up dusting her off and making her feel good about herself and and just being a good friend to her because i care about her I, you know she's a dear friend we used to work together 20 years ago but like i said it's like i have a positive attitude and it's and that's what she appreciates about me and and I promise you, if you if you have a positive, optimistic attitude, people will appreciate. And, no, and there will be also be people that don't appreciate that about you. And people that don't appreciate you being you, then guess what? You can invite them to spend their time with somebody else. And if you want to improve your social skills and improve your social circle, I did a YouTube video a while back called Improving Your Social Skills. So if you Google Corey Wayne, Improving Your Social Skills, and then just go to YouTube and watch the video and then go practice that stuff. That will help you further build your confidence and your ability to make friendships right on the spot or to, to create a date on the spot with a girl that you meet and you have amazing chemistry with. 
But interacting with other people in a social setting, that is a learned skill. And you either learn it in childhood or you don't. And you can learn it as an adult and you can learn it when you're younger. It really doesn't matter. But repetition is a mother's skill. And the only way you will get better is if you practice your social skills. And so if you want to get better, if you you got to change your attitude, number one, because I'm telling you, your attitude really sucks that you have towards things. But the past does not equal the future. That's the beauty of it. What you did yesterday and the fact that you didn't do the right thing two months ago or two years ago or that your life has always sucked for 25 years, it really doesn't fucking matter. Why? Because the only moment that matters is right now. You can't change the past because it's gone. And you can't do anything about the future because it's not here yet. The only moment that you can affect is right now. And so if you change the way you look at things, literally the things that you look at and interact with in life will change for the better. That's something to think about. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one to two paragraphs max, and just give me several weeks to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session, and you can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on my website, underneath the email sign-up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. And once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, just download one of their free e-reader apps for whatever electronic device that you want to read it on. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website and my ebook, you can show your appreciation right now by going to my website and on the Weebly toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.